Hi there, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back to Confidence on Cut. Well, you know how I do it. This is the show that brings you all the experiences and all the fun things that I get up to. But seriously, you need to subscribe if you love this channel or you like, at least like it, at least subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you are the first to be updated with anything new that I post. Have you done that? Yes, you've done that. Okay, let's go right into it. Hey, darling. Hello, Auntie. Hi, <laughs> Chair to say. Oh, yeah. Now, where? Pacho, Miss Meho, yeah. Oh, that's. Ooh, that's a shock. I didn't know she can speak tree. Mm, my tree is not that good, so I wish we could do this conversation in tree, but my tree is not good, so I'm going to stay away from you. <laughs> Hello, Auntie. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You good? I'm good. How are you? Ah, I hear you're fanty. Mm -hmm. Tell me something fanty. I, I, my fanty is really bad, so please help me out. Otten den. In a, wouldn't you say? It's the same. That's the tree, Ashanti. Ashanti one. Okay. Ashanti, they say Otende. Otende. And then what am I supposed to say? Muhuye. Muhuye. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you go and I say. Okay. So, Auntie, Otende. Muhuye. Okay. I got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Very lovable. Okay. Lovable. Is that fun? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very outgoing. Then the third one. I love worshipping. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in church. Yeah. Okay, you love worshipping. Are you part of a, uh, the choir or you're part of the worship team? I used to be part. Okay. What happened? Um, we'll be here all day <laughs> if you go into it. But, she doesn't want yeah. to go into it, right? <laughs> she doesn't want to. Yeah. I'm a vegetarian. She's a vegetarian. Wait, 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 I need to process that. <laughs> Hold on, girl. Let me process that. Vegetarian. Yes. What do you eat? Everything just not with meat. <laughs> if you think about it, it's not that bad. Just the most of the things that we eat, if you just minus the meat, it's a vegetarian meal anyway. So you can enjoy it the same way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So give me a, a typical day. So breakfast, what would you have? Okay, breakfast I'd have cereal. So okay. cornflakes, oh, yeah. rice krispies, okay, cocoa yeah. pops, like that's yeah, easy. Yeah, that doesn't have do anything. That. Yeah, that doesn't have meat. Yeah. Lunch? Lunch maybe tuna pasta. Okay. But that was when oh. I was pescatarian. Okay. When I was pescatarian, I'd have tuna pasta. Now it's just tomato and mozzarella. Mm. That's my go-to. Okay. Then dinner? Dinner, I could have, okay, if I made jollof rice, I'd just have it, but I'd have fried egg on the side. See, you see, so when you said you're a vegetarian, meat. I'm like, it's only meat. You don't eat meat. Yeah, no, just but then, meat. But, but then egg, you eat have, eggs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was about to say chicken, but chicken is still meat. Chicken's meat, yeah. But the egg is... There's a debate about that, mm -hmm. but I'm cool with the eggs. I can eat the eggs. The eggs come from the chicken. The I chicken know, becomes I'm, the well, egg. It's not the meat, though. It's not the meat. The chicken becomes the egg. The egg is... Yeah. If, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I can't let go of egg. I love eggs, so... So you're then like in the middle of being a vegetarian, in the middle of... Sometimes I chop and change between pescatarian and vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Okay. But right now... You're, you're vegetarian. Yeah. Is that a health uh, decision or...? Yeah, I just read a few bad articles about meat mm -hmm. and it just put me off. Well, you should, you should come so... and watch the pill with me and then you'll be like, okay, <laughs> your life will change. Really? Okay, so that's two things. Fun. Mm -hmm. The third thing, fun. This one might be a little bit embarrassing. Oh, please but... go ahead. This confidence on card. We like it. We like that. We like that. Um, I make a lot of TikTok videos <gasps> in Love my spare you. time. Okay. Actually, we should try and do a TikTok okay. video. Okay. Yeah, we can do when that. When we're done, we have to do one. Yeah. I, I have uploaded the TikTok, mm -hmm. but I just can't 
figure it out. Yeah. The other day, Renee tried to show me how to do it. Yeah. And I thought Renee's like on point, but sorry. Do you know what, that app, app is a little bit like, it takes some getting used to. Okay, so we have to do that at the end of the show. Like, okay. you tell me how Yeah, it's I done. got you. We can, oh, we can do a tutorial quickly. Oh. <laughs> here I come. Yeah. Okay, three serious things then. I'm very passionate about my career. Which is? Dentistry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, second? I'm a mother. Ooh, we have a mother. <laughs> it's nice to have mothers. And was how old? He's seven. Seven was the name. Come on, please. Come on, shout out. Hey, girl. You're a mother and you are the first one up of Miss Ghana UK, girl, please. You don't look like a mother, please. Give us a shout out to that, that baby boy there. Is it boy or girl? It's a boy. Oh, I just assumed that. Yes, baby boy. <laughs> so give us a shout out. Give him a shout out. His Come on. Name, his English name is Fabian Gabriel. I want the local name. Hey, I can't even pronounce that. I want the third one. I would say I'm very passionate and very caring. Serious things about you, my darling. Um, so my first serious thing is that I study sociology in uni. Mm -hmm. um, I picked sociology because of my interest in education. Isn't she interesting? She is, Thank right. you very much. <laughs> so when I was in A-level, mm -hmm. learning about education, it really opened my eyes to a lot of things that I didn't actually know I was mm -hmm. being taught, but indirectly mm -hmm. by the school system. Being moulded yeah, to think exactly. a certain way. Mm -hmm. So they have a thing called uh, the hidden curriculum. Mm -hmm. So it's what we're taught, but not directly. So in terms of not being late, obeying orders, mm -hmm. learning about the hierarchy mm -hmm. in the workplace, in the school. Which place. is very important, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it really extremely important. important yeah. It is really important. But then when you get to the side where it talks about race mm -hmm. and um, discrimination against people with disabilities, mm -hmm. sometimes even age, sexism, mm -hmm. it gets so much more interesting. Mm -hmm. So learning about that really made me think, okay, I need to know more, mm -hmm. learn about family, mm -hmm. learn about healthcare. Mm -hmm. So that's why I chose sociology. And the second thing? Okay, this one's to do with Miss Ghana. Okay. One thing that I want to go on to do is women empowerment. Mm -hmm. So the people I look up to, Michelle Obama, Oprah, I want to start a oh, Please give me a Ghanaian name, girl. <laughs> Okay. Give me uh, a Ghanaian name. Yes, I'm twat. Okay. Ah. Ooh, ooh, girl. Yeah. That is like the top of it. Every girl, every strong girl role model is Yas and yeah. I think that woman was just fabulous. That woman was. Mm. And I I really think that we as um, Africans, mm -hmm. for some reason, not for some reason, but lack of a better word, we don't have role models. We do have them. Yeah. But they're not out there like the Oprahs and the Michelle Obamas. Yeah, and Yas Santua is one of them that you can, you know, mm -hmm. identify with yeah. straight away. We've got your Nana Konejus, we've got Mother Teresa, you know, Madame Teresa Kufo's wife. You know, there's a few women out there that I wish you young girls or yeah. would go out and study them mm -hmm. instead of just throwing at every time you're like, oh, who's your role model? Oprah. Well, Oprah is somewhere in America, darling. It's true. She has nothing in common with you. You have to stick closer to home, yeah. Thank you. It's true. So, I actually, I don't think anyone knows this, but I actually applied back in 2017, but then I ended up not going to the audition. Why? For one reason or another, I just felt like it's not the right time. Let me wait a little bit. You're lucky. You would have had me as a judge. <laughs> Things would have turned out wrongly. <laughs> <laughs> or even better. Mm. So what? So this time, what pushed you? I just thought, no, it's time for me to do it. Nothing needs to scare me anymore. Mm -hmm. I need to push myself, step mm -hmm. out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm going to this audition and I'm going to put my best foot forward mm -hmm. and make sure that I'm someone they remember. High basically. school, okay. Yeah, so high school, um, knew people that obviously went in there and mm. I just thought, oh, nice, you know, maybe I can see myself. Me and my friends before, yeah, we can see ourselves doing, doing it. Doing that. Mm -hmm. But then that was a different mentality mm. until when I grew up. Um, I have a passion for charity work. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So, um, done my research, knew that obviously Miss, Miss Ghana UK is not just a beauty pageant just coming. Oh, yeah I know that know. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so um spoke to a couple of my girls and they were like Abby go for it what have you got to lose so mm -hmm. I said okay okay so that's why you entered into the pageant for your yeah. the charity work yeah. that they did. 
when they mentioned your name, as in second runner up, you're like, I'm sure you're going like, I'm third. <laughs> yes, I should have been first. Or <laughs> no, it wasn't even I should have been first thing. It was. Do you know what? There was a little bit of a like a glitch. Then I thought it wasn't me. So I stepped forward, ended up stepping back, and they were like, "No, like it's you." It's you. So I was like, <laughs> "Because you're thinking I should be winning, right?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone thinks that, but honestly, the feeling uh, that you get. I have a funny story about that. So when I did Miss Gunner uh, in '99, so I'm number two. Okay. And uh, the when they mentioned, they were like, 12. And for some reason in my mind, because I know I deserved it, yeah. I was walking. Like, I heard two. I didn't hear 12. I heard two. So I was just walking <laughs> on stage. <laughs> no, I walked all the way to the head, like about to step up on the stage. And I could see the horse going like, oh, like, gosh. <laughs> what? I miss photogenic. Like, I deserve to be there. Like, that was all I could see, so quickly did I turn back. Yeah. So I can understand exactly how that feels. Yeah. Because you're like, you could, there's so many numbers and things. There's just in a your... lot going on, like all the lights and you're constantly smiling. You're like, oh, I'm just like, what's going on? Like, do I stand forward? Do I... But I just had to take a moment, collect myself and think, okay, so it's third, second runner up. Let me stand there and, you know, let people see who I am. So. This is a tricky one. And this is bear in mind that this is confidence uncut, yeah. unfiltered. Oh. Shall I want the truth? Okay. okay. <laughs> so when the host was like, and the first runner up is Abigail. Well, what went through your mind? Did you go like, damn, I should have won. What went through your mind? <laughs> I mean, who mm -hmm. wouldn't want the crown? Everybody wants the crown. Mm -hmm. All of us, there was what, 13 of us? So everyone done their best. Um, uh, listen, she's giving me the di diplomatic version. I don't want a diplomatic version. <laughs> I want to go like, what was going through your mind? Like, hmm. <laughs> I want the truth. Give me the truth. Well, what was going through your mind? I was start honestly. from when we were, when top five were being mentioned mm -hmm. and I was actually the last person to, to be mentioned yeah. oh gosh you were shivering I was yeah <laughs> you were like yeah at that point obviously we've all given our all so you know it's up to the judges mm -hmm. what they think I was happy when, when the I top five you were like "Ooh, a sigh of relief <laughs> like I made it into the five at least so did you think that you deserve to win um I mean I gave my all mm -hmm. so like I said to everyone, everyone wants the crown and to us all probably mm -hmm. thought, yeah, we've done our best and we're all winners. Mm -hmm. But obviously there's only one winner. She still hasn't said so. it. I'm not trying to push her, but I know what we <laughs> think as beauty queens. I would, one thing I would say mm -hmm. is when I was called for first runner up, mm -hmm. I was happy where I played. Okay. You were happy. I was happy where I played. Do you think you did something um, wrong? That is why, or you think you didn't, you, you didn't match up to um, the winner? Yeah. Um. I would say where I'll probably say I don't know so much if it's the downfall, but the traditional part okay. when I gave my speech. Okay. I stumbled and I, yeah, I panicked. Honey, I know all that. Okay. I know exactly how that feels. And if you can't handle pressure, you can do it. So I understand where you're coming from. So you did your well, you did your best. Yeah. Hey, God knows what, why. You yeah. be, you're a believer, yeah. so you know yeah. everything Definitely. happens for a reason. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But then you're first one up. We should pray yeah. hard so that the winner can mess up. Then they can strip her off the <laughs> crown. Oh. And then you can have the crown. What about that? It's been a bit messy. <laughs> I'll probably say right now we're trying to raise some funds mm -hmm. for our charity work. Mm -hmm. Together as uh, the three or just you alone? No, everyone. Okay. Would, yeah, so, as a group. So mm -hmm. As a group. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my best to obviously raise some funds, you know, sending out messages to 
family and friends mm -hmm. and whoever can support. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that um, I'm very passionate about obviously charity work mm -hmm. and one of them being period poverty. Mm -hmm. What project did you choose personally apart from the group? Personal project was for um, the period poverty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. We Everybody needs through. a life. Yeah. Some every girl needs to go through, uh, you know, yeah, periods without through. being ashamed of it. Thank yeah. You. So that's a really good one that you've picked there. Yeah. Yeah. Because just imagine going through your menses and not being able to, you know, have anything. I've seen like situations that pads, so. I've seen situation whereby, or I've heard of situation whereby mm. they would use the um, Newspaper. uh, newspapers. You know, it's it's disgusting. Yeah. Um, it's been. Five, six months? Five months. Five months since yeah. you've been crowned. Mm -hmm. What have you done with your crown? So we've been going to events mm -hmm. as usual, mm -hmm. uh, presenting ourselves, mm -hmm. representing foundations, mm -hmm. networking, speaking mm -hmm. to people about our initiatives, mm -hmm. fundraising for mm -hmm. our annual trip to Ghana, which is in April. Mm -hmm. We've also been planning our own, our individual um, agendas mm -hmm. and also the ones we have like as a team. Mm -hmm. So what's your individual, what's I want, yours? I want to focus on youth violence and mental health. Youth violence, oh yeah. gosh that's an important that's a one. Because yeah. I don't understand how, because well you, maybe when you say youth violence in Ghana there's not so much to um, associate with yeah. but when you say youth violence in the UK there is so much. I don't understand, maybe you can a bit school me in it. Because I don't understand why the young black men yeah. are killing themselves. It's crazy. Why? It's crazy. Why do you think that's happening? I think people are just losing sight of what's really important. Mm -hmm. Like fighting, for example, fighting over an area isn't going to get you anywhere in life. Okay, so they will be fighting, let's say for example, I live in West London, so they'll be fighting over West London, or they'll be fighting over several, uh, spa uh, like Hammersmith, Kensington, yeah, in West just, London. Yeah, there's just some certain areas that just do not like each other. If someone hears that you're from a certain area, it's straight away from the get-go, do not like each other. <laughs> okay, I'm struggling to to understand this is it because of is it the age because when i listen to the news it's like most of the time is between the age of 15 to 21 yeah that's who are the killing themselves mm -hmm. the age what? people get into like gangs and stuff like that from a very earlier even earlier than 15 mm -hmm. so i want to say really it's an age thing mm -hmm. it's just about your association exposure yeah, and your association your ex exposure so that, association are the two biggest things and that's why you pick that as your project yeah i just think it's such a big problem mm -hmm. like it's getting increasingly worse mm -hmm. and more awareness needs to be raised about it mm -hmm. more workshops to get people out of the streets mm -hmm. it's just a very big problem that was really close to my heart so and that's that what you're working on. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm that's really nice. Thank you. Meanwhile, I want to know mm -hmm. how much you've raised so far, girl. Well, I can't put a finger on it to say what the figure is. Darling, come on. But you know, you've spoken to what? 50 people, 10 people. What have they raised? Um, that one we're going to have to keep it a little bit on the down low. Just because the money's coming from different areas and Personally, I'm not in charge of the money side. I need to fundraise. And yeah, but do. then, hey, come on, girl. If I have raised a thousand pounds, I know I've raised a thousand pounds because I have physically gone out there and raised that money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, the people that I've spoken to mm -hmm. has reassured me that they will obviously give a fund, and I am hoping they do give a huge fund. Mm, okay. If, yeah. But, so just an exact number can't be given right now. So <laughs> gonna find out. <laughs> so you're going to Ghana, right? Yes. When are you going to Ghana? Sixth of April. Sixth of April. Yeah. And when was the last time you were in Ghana? Well, just last December gone. That's my girl, she likes Ghana. Okay. Well but before that I had not been <laughs> <laughs> She's being honest. It's confidence of God. I have not been. And she's been honest. Girl. So yeah. now um I would like mm -hmm. to contribute to you and your fan oh. and your charity, the one you've mm. picked as the period... Um, period poverty. Period poverty. And I would like to um, contribute my part mm -hmm. as confidence, 
So you've got 2,000 Ghana CD stores there. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Honestly, darling. God bless you. You're welcome, baby. And the girls. I like the fact that your initiative is in the UK. But this is a little bit towards your UK, Ms. Ghana UK Foundation. Okay. I hear you guys are trying to build a toilet. Yes, in a school. In, in Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Okay, you're going to visit there. Yeah, we are. Okay. So here you are. Thank you That so is much. some money. That's a thousand Ghana cities for you. Thank you. To be able to contribute to building that toilet. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. Well, is there anything for someone who's watching us that want to enter into Miss Ghana UK? What would you say to them? I would say, don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. um, be prepared because it is not easy. Mm -hmm. It is a long process that takes a lot of perseverance and determination mm -hmm. and resilience. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about myself and you just need to be prepared for anything but also just remember why exactly you want to do it and that will keep you going throughout the process oh thank you so much thank darling you thank me. you thank you for coming by it's been well it's the first time that i've had guests and they've not gone into oh, the conversation was too exciting i didn't even have time to look at the <laughs> Oh thank you God. very much oh anyway thanks so much for watching our confidence on cat don't forget to follow us on all our social media platform facebook twitter snapchat and instagram it's confidence on cat confidence with a k and i hope you've subscribed and you've turned on your notification well if you've done that then you would be notified the moment I upload anything new. Anyway, darling, can we say bye-bye to them? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.